What do you guys think? Uh, I'm told that we only have 10 minutes or so, so I'm going to get right to the introductions. Uh, without further ado, uh, some of the talented cast and uh, the creators of the show, of course. I'm going to start with Mr. Josh Dallas. Jennifer Goodwin. Executive producers, creators, and my very good friends, Eddie Kitsis and Adam Horowitz. Miss Emma Swan herself, Jennifer Morrison. Robert Carlyle. And last but certainly not least, the mayor of Storybrook and perhaps the evil queen herself, Lana Perea. So Eddie and Adam, I remember very distinctly, I think we were somewhere in the neighborhood of the third season of the show when you first wandered in my office and we were, we were t having one of those moments where we just didn't really want to be working on Lost at all. And uh, you guys said, hey, we have a cool idea for a TV show. Uh, I think we just watched it. Can you guys tell us a little bit more of the origin story behind Once? Well, um, it started probably about eight years ago and uh, Eddie and I had uh, just finished working on Felicity, and, um, and uh, coming off that Carrie show, Russell is here today. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Thanks, Carrie. Um, you know, I, Basically, coming off that show, our agent said, you know, what, what, what kind of, you need a new sample, what would you, what would you like to do, what kind of show would you like? And, and we kind of started to think about fairy tales and why we like them, and, and we were kind of in a place where we were like, you know, the thing I love most about fairy tales is they're like a lottery ticket. You buy them in the hopes that your life will change, you know, that you one day are sweeping up your stepsister and the next you get to go to the ball. So, uh, and we were just trying to talk about that and, and we wanted to came. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, we, we had a big problem, which was we had no idea how to tell us. No, and so thankfully cut to Lost where we, uh, we're very lucky to be with Mr. Lindelof, who helped us out of an eight-year writer's block on how to tell this story. And by virtue of us coming to him in November and crying on his couch that we had no ideas left. And now you see what happened. Um, Jennifer, I know you were one of the first uh, pieces to fall into place cast-wise. What was it like for you reading the script, especially coming off of uh, another incredible show, Big Love? What, what made you um, want to dive it, uh, back into this immediately? Well, I was reading TV scripts in the first place because I understood that that's where all the great writers have gone. And uh, <laughs> it's true. And I got a phone call that Eddie Kitsis and Adam Horowitz were offering me the role of Snow White. And I actually said to my agent, I'll take it. And they said, you need to read it. And I said, no, seriously, I'll take it. <laughs> and, uh, and I did read it that night again and again and again, and I was up all night until my manager woke up um, because I needed him to know that we were taking this job. And uh, it really didn't take much, um, it really didn't take much. I mean, I read it and I was inspired to tell this story for the next, you know, we pray many years and dig my elbows in. There's really nothing else like it on television. And, uh, and Jennifer Morrison, obviously, uh, from what we've just seen, these guys all get to play two roles on, on both sides of it. Is, it. is it a relief for you to just just be Emma, or do you do you sort of wish that you got to uh, do you sort of get to wish that you get to put on the tights as well? I only get to play one character, but I get two mics. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I, I'm a little jealous because you know, obviously, it seems like it would be fun to uh, wear other pretty costumes, but. Um, it's exciting to create a character that's brand new, a new fairy tale character. Um, it, it's her new fairy tale, so it's kind of this incredible adventure of just letting Eddie and Adam write this incredible stuff and, and hope that we can do it justice. Uh, Josh, as I, as I was watching this, I was realizing that sort of every woman's fantasy must be having a man have a sword fight while he's holding a baby. <laughs> um, what is it? 
What's it like when people say, what are you working on and who are you playing for you to say, I'm, I'm Prince Charming? They always laugh, so I don't, I don't know what that means. They always laugh first. But, you know, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing to play that part and play that kind of icon. But, you know, you know as an actor, you can't really think I'm playing Prince Charming. You know, you're playing a man with, uh, you know, with issues and problems and situations just like anybody else. So that's how you have to approach it. Will we find out his first name? I think we might. We might. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's Steve. <laughs>